Hey, what's up guys? Todd Bishop from Bishop Boards. How you doing? I want to introduce you guys to our newest board here. It's our first race board. It's called the Paddlefish. This is a 14 foot model from nose to tail. We have a 12.6 as well. And uh, going from front to back, you'll notice it's got a really slicey nose on the front end here. People traditionally call that a displacement nose, but I'll show you in a minute that this is a displacement hull, a true displacement hull, more akin to what you'd see in a refined canoe or kayak. Um, but moving down the deck here, there's some tie down points, and these are intentionally made for neoprene handles that go on here. We don't have them on right now today. As a racer, you could add one to just one side or both, or use those to tie down some gear. Got our big box carry handle in the middle here. It's got a ton of room. I can even fit my knuckles down in there, really cool. Limited traction pad right here, and another little tie down point for a bungee. Racers will tag a little gear on the back there so they can get some nosh when they're racing. And then the back end's slick for a couple of reasons. We can add traction on there if people want it. It's a clear traction that's really cool. Um, but this board's designed to turn without stepping all the way back to the tail for a pivot turn like most boards do. I can show you on the bottom. But before we flip that, you'll notice the tail's super knifey too. Slices in the water with the nose and out with the tail. Maybe I can rotate it over this way. And hopefully you can see that there's really not a flat section on this board, even in the center here. We've got a chine in the middle there. It slices in at the nose. All this water gets moved to the side cleanly. And then in the tail, it puts that water back where it came from. So the design of this board is intended to be paddled without the fins if you want it. You can paddle without the fin, you got a nice stroke, you can keep on trucking. You still need to switch sides every like five to ten strokes, um, but you don't have to use those fins. This has got the two side fins in there too right now. You can go ahead and lay it down there. It's got a wood stringer in there, which is really important. This is a really slicey thin board, and that keeps it to no bounce. This thing just cuts through the water. There's no bouncing up and down, no flex nose to tail on the board, or very, very little. That's the paddlefish, something I'm really excited about. We are, we got it out on the water. It's putting up some really good numbers for us. If you want to learn more about it, go to bishopboards.com. Check it out.